my parents taught me to be me. They never distinguished between uh, daughters and sons. I learned from my father that the limit is the sky and to dream big. And this is what every girl needs to have. I'm Asma Almani, project controller based in Abu Dhabi. Diversity is a very close topic to my heart. I am diversity because I am a female, I come from an Arab background and I'm also Muslim. I was born in Algeria and I studied electrical engineering. After university, I started working as a wildland field engineer in the Algerian desert. It was a really a particular experience. It was hard to um, kind of impose myself as a fresh graduate, first of all, but then being a woman, and I, I was the first female to go back to the field after the uh, black destiny of terrorism in Algeria. So they wanted to check whether the field is ready to have female, and they sent me as the first, first female. It was tough, it was not easy, also coming out of um, an Arab culture and women with a small voice giving instruction to men, that was not an easy task. But by the end of the day, I managed. I brought something new to the team, they were not used to that, but I think they realized the value. I'm just different and being different is not something bad, it's something good. When I started applying for jobs after my master, I was advised by a headhunter to put a picture without the scarf. For me, that was discrimination against my religion. The message was, uh, put a picture without a scarf, you will have more uh, positive reply to your applications. And that was like no go for me. So it's either me all or not. And I didn't do it. Living diversity means that you come and you bring your full self into work every day. Because we can be from the same gender, we can be from the same background, but the way we experience things is different. And this is what we need to bring to the work. One time I applied for a job and I removed my gender and my um, nationality and my picture from the application and it was shortlisted. And the first comment I got when we had the interview was, oh, you are a woman and then I was not selected. We need to understand that we are all small pieces. When we put them together, we fit in the big picture. And people need to step out of their role, of their profession, and try to see things from different perspectives. Open-mindedness for me is accepting that my own view is not the full truth. I believe in servant leadership, which means that for me, as a leader, to achieve my goal, I need to help my people achieve their goals. I like to make it safe for people to speak up, to share their ideas, their concerns, their questions. Support is always what I like to do. My favorite question is how I can support you. The fact that I went through my experience and I'm able to share it, and other women as well, this gives more confidence to the young engineers that they can do it. This is the one of the mission that is also close to my heart, is to guide young women in the oil and gas industry.